NSS camp inaugurated at Government College of Education in Chandigarh. Top Educators Award event honors Principal Dr. Nilima Kamra in Delhi NCR. National Summit on Facilitating School to Work Transition, Skill Expo and National Guidance Festival 2023. West Bengal Board plans to conduct Class 12 exam in two parts. Delhi University now offering three new postgraduate courses, including Hindu studies. Good afternoon, warm welcome you watching Education News Network, where you get latest development in education at top of this hour. This is G Theme reporting from Education News Network. Today's stories are. The program began with the college anthem, a lamp lightning ceremony and chanting of Shabbat followed by the welcome of dignitaries by college principal Sapnananda. NSS program in charge Ravneet Chavla introduced the layout of the NSS program to the guests and the audience. A college NSS newsletter was released on the occasion. It is a first of its kind initiative to document NSS work. Chavla has developed the newsletter under the patronship of the college principal. Gurg delivered her keynote address, shading light on the importance of community service and its impact on society. She also emphasized the importance of knowing oneself first and indulging completely in whatever task is one into. Mitra provided insights to the students and motivated them. Dr. Nemi Chand also addressed the students, highlighting the goals and objectives of the NSS program. It is a matter of extreme honor to present that the Top Educators Award event was attended by the headmistress, Ms. Rashmi Srivastava where our principal, Dr. Nilima Kamra was felicitated with the honor. The event had all the heads of schools from Delhi NCR as its attendees. The event focused on providing global learning avenues by to the students post school in India as well as abroad. Citing the same, there was a planned presentation by Masters Union for their futuristic UG and PG course right at the center of business hub in Gurugram. Various cost-effective study abroad options were also discussed by Taylor University where they highlighted the importance of the years from age of 17 to 23 in terms of shaping one's forthcoming career. In order to promote peer learning among teachers and students alike, National Summit on Facilitating School to Work Transition, Skill Expo and National Guidance Festival 2023 was hosted at Bharat Ratna C. Subramaniam Auditorium, Pusa Road that aimed at regional activities that spanned all of the CBSE board's regions and culminated in a national event. This provided opportunity to inspire young minds to dream big by showcasing success stories and role models from various fields, motivating them to strive for their skill development and aspirations. With two projects showing the abilities of the gifted students, KIIT World School participate enthusiastically. Avnish and Shashikant Thakur of Class 12 presented the school mascot Chutki. This endeavor aims to sensitize different topics to pupils. These issues of concern could encompass everything from social well-being to academic agendas that could help the students understand these issues better. It is a symbolic representation that may assist students in comprehending and addressing a variety of difficulties while promoting holistic as well as academic purpose for students. On the other hand, we had Arpita Priyadarshani and lovely Bohra of classes 10 and 7 respectively presented a stall for resin artifacts. The primary objective for resin art is to harness its creative potential as a means to promote eco-friendly and sustainable practices while addressing the pervasive menace of plastic pollution. We are dedicated to finding innovative solutions that reduce the environmental impact of resin art and contribute to a cleaner, greener planet. The expo concluded at a positive note where the footfall at the stalls added on to tremendous spirit among the students. The West Bengal Council of Higher Secondary Education WBCHSE, has suggested a dual board exam system for class 12 students in line with the state's education policy. This change is planned for the 2025-26 academic session, with exams held in November and March. The first semester exams will be in an objective format using OMR sheets, while the second semester exams will require descriptive answers. Final marks will be calculated as an average of both semesters to prevent complacency. The board has also introduced provisions for students with special needs, including extra time and assistive devices during exams. The Delhi University, DU, began the admission process for three new courses, MA in Hindu Studies, Chinese Studies, and PG Diploma in Cyber Security and Law on Tuesday. The registration process for the courses will close on 30th September. According to a DU Information Bulletin, the courses aim to combine traditional knowledge related to Hindu philosophy with contemporary subjects, including computer science, informatics, commerce, and political science, as well as make students proficient in Chinese along with making them aware of the latest techniques in the cyber world. 
The bulletin states that the programs would emphasize both modern job aspirations and a thorough comprehension of the Hindu ethos. That's all for today. Thank you watching Education News Network. More such videos log on our website educationnewsnetwork.com. Don't forget like, share and subscribe.